Hi, I'm Eric with My Boring Channel, and I help people make websites. Now, I want to say three things before we get started, real quick. Number one, you don't have to be technically minded to do this. I'm a teacher, and I'm going to show you how it's done. Number two, this is going to be cheap. You're going to save yourself thousands of dollars, and we're going to get this done for less than the cost of a latte per month. And three, your website's going to look professional because we're going to use WordPress, which is the most popular and powerful website building software on the face of the planet, used by companies such as Best Buy, Sony, Disney, and eBay. So forget all the worries and the doubts that you have because we're going to get this done. Let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a theme on your WordPress website. Now, it's very important to choose a theme that is well coded and fast loading. I have a theme that I like to recommend to people who are new to WordPress that is very well coded and that does load very fast. It was created by a long time, very well respected WordPress developer and it's 100% free and there's excellent support offered for the theme if you do need it. So let's get started okay the first thing we're going to do is go to our domain name followed by a forward slash wp dash admin and then we're going to log into our wordpress website remember the login information for your wordpress website came in your email from inmotion when you signed up for web hosting and you know that because you watched my last video so go ahead and click login and you're going to get this stuff here. Welcome to WordPress. And you can, you can read all this stuff. I recommend it. But for now, I'm going to click dismiss. And then I'm going to go to appearance on the left. And then I'm going to go to themes right here. Because we're going to install a theme. So here are the themes we currently have installed. I'm going to add a new theme by clicking this right here. Now we can browse through all these themes and pick one that we like. But for today, I'm going to choose a theme called Stargazer. So let's go ahead and type that in here and then click enter. Now here it is right here. Now you can preview the theme you want to see by clicking preview here and it will show you what the theme looks like without you actually installing it. But I already know I want to install Stargazer so I'm going to click install and then I will come here and I will click activate. Okay now our website will look different. So to see what our site looks like go ahead on up here to the corner where it says my blog and then under that, it's going to say visit site when you hover over it. Okay, click that. And here is what our website looks like now. A lot different than what it looked like just a few minutes ago. Okay. We have now installed the theme called Stargazer. Pretty easy, wasn't it? Okay, now to get back to your dashboard, hover over my blog and then click dashboard right up here. If you hover over appearance again and then click on themes again, and then click on add new theme here, you will see that there are tons of themes here that we can choose from. And a lot of them are completely free. You can sort by popular, by latest, by favorites. And you can also choose exactly what you want. If you click on feature filter, you can choose the colors you want, the layout you're interested in, the features you're interested in. But we're gonna save that for a later time. I recommend you stay with me with the theme Stargazer and when you feel comfortable with WordPress then choose a theme that you like better but you may decide that you actually like Stargazer and want to stay with it. Again let me show you the website that we're going to be working on. This is Stargazer. This is my website myboringchannel.net. As we scroll down you can see we have a sidebar here. We have our main page here. We have our footer down here. We have our sharing buttons here, some social media information down at the bottom. And then we have a secondary menu here and a primary menu up here. So you can see the website's going to look very nice once we get it going. So one of the reasons I really like this theme is because it was created by a guy named Justin Tadlock, who is a longtime WordPress developer. And Justin is very well respected in the WordPress community. Now he has a website called themehybrid.com. At Theme Hybrid, you can sign up for his club right here. And then you can get 
support for your website for just $20 a year if you're using one of his WordPress themes. Stargazer is one of his themes. I have a membership at themehybrid.com. I am not affiliated with Theme Hybrid in any way. I just have to say it is one of the best values on the internet. Whenever I need help with Stargazer, I jump onto the forums here at Theme Hybrid. I ask a question to Justin and right away he answers it and I, I can fix almost anything that goes wrong with this theme. And I've used his help multiple times. Like I said, I think it's one of the best values on the internet for only $20 a year. Like I say, he's a programmer and a coder and he knows these themes like he knows the back of his hand. And one more reason I really like this theme is because this website, WP Tavern, which is WordPress's main blog, uses this exact theme, Stargazer. They would not use this theme if it wasn't an amazing theme. Uh, and well-coded and fast-loading. So, if the folks at WordPress use this theme for the official WordPress blog, then you know it's a dang good theme and it's very well-coded. Now, I just wanna point out too that there are so many thousands of themes out there and a lot of them actually, folks, are very poorly coded and will slow down your site and some of the themes are even malicious. So, it is important to choose a good theme. Now, if you don't like Stargazer as we go down the road here and you want to choose a different theme and you want some help with some resources on how to find a really good theme, then you should email me um, on my website. Go to my contact form right here on myboringchannel.net. Go to my contact form and go ahead and shoot me an email and we can talk about things and I can help you through finding a really good theme. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead back here to my dashboard and let's go ahead and customize this theme just a little bit before we finish this video. Let's go over here and click on Visit Site. Now, see this button that says Customize up here at the top? Go ahead and click it. This is the easiest way to customize your website uh, and change the look and feel of your theme. Now you can also do it from within the dashboard, which is the way I like to do it, but WordPress is moving toward using this customizer, so I'm gonna show you how to use this customizer because a lot of people actually do like it. So for site identity, you can click on this, and then you can change the title of your blog up here. So we can t call it uh, WordPress Tutorial. And you see the changes in real time. Now we can change the tagline here. Watch my cool YouTube videos. Obviously you're gonna want the tagline to match what you're doing. And then site icon. The site icon is what you see right here in your browser. And so you can choose an image that is square and at least 512 pixels wide and tall. To do that, just click Select Image. Then go ahead and click on Select Files. Browse to the file you want to use. Now my daughter created this A in, in Microsoft Paint and I just cropped it to 512 by 512. So I'm gonna choose that one. It's gonna upload. Now I'm gonna give it some alt text this is just a little bit of information. Every time you upload an image, you should give it some alt text. That way Google will index your image in Google Images and people will have another way to find your website. So it will help your website's SEO, that is search engine optimization. Also providing alt text is important for accessibility purposes. For example, if folks are blind, then the image text will be read to them. So it's important to describe the image as accurately as possible. So again, always put in your alt text. So for this one, I am going to call it a cartoon pink letter A. And then I'm gonna click select. Now I have a new site icon right up here. You can see it, pretty cool. That is the site identity. So go ahead and click this back arrow here and we can move to layout. You can see here on layout, we can choose no sidebar here, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see what happens. If I choose no sidebar, the sidebar goes away. If I choose this one, the sidebar is going to be on the left. If I choose this one, the sidebar will be on the right. You get the idea. So I'm going to leave the sidebar over here on the right, and I'm going to click back arrow. Now, I can change the colors here of my website. So I have my uh, header text color, and I can change that. You see now, this is red. And I can make it blue if I want. And then the primary color will be 
the color of your links and these boxes and things like that. So I can change the primary color. Uh, let's make it um, uh, like a maroon. That looks cool. And then the background color will be what you see behind, like up here, black. And if you have a wider screen, then you'll see more on the edges of your website. But you can change that color to be whatever you want it to be. See, there's purple. I'm just gonna leave it as black. Okay, now the back arrow. Uh, you can change your header image. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna select Add New Image right here. I'm gonna click Upload Files right here. I'm gonna click Select Files. I am going to choose one of these images here, which are already the correct size. Okay, I'm gonna put in my alt text, little girl looking irritated. And then I will click Select and Crop. Since this is already the right size, I don't need to crop the image, so I'm gonna click Skip Cropping. But if you upload another image that isn't the right size, then I would recommend cropping the image. Now if I upload more header images, let's add another one. Add new image, upload files, select files. I'm gonna choose uh, this one. I'm gonna call this Kids Playing on an iPhone. Then I will click Select and Crop. I will click skip cropping for now. If it's you and your image is different, remember, click crop image. So I'm gonna click skip cropping. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here and I'm gonna click randomize uploaded headers. This is cool because now when people come back to the site, they will often see a different header. So if I upload 10 different headers, then when folks come back to my site, they'll see different headers up here, which is nice because then it looks like you're updating your site regularly and that's a good thing, okay? So that's how you Change the header image. Let's go ahead and click the back arrow. You can put a background image in. Instead of having this black here, you can choose a background image. The, the process is the same as choosing a header image. Okay, let's click the back arrow. You can uh, adjust your site's menus here. I'm not gonna get into that too much right now because that's a little more advanced. You can adjust the widgets on your site here. Uh, widgets are things that you can put in your sidebar and things that you can put in your website's footer. We don't have a footer on this one right now. Uh, but the footer for this theme is called the subsidiary. So, okay, so primary, right now the things that are in the sidebar are this search bar, and that's this one right here. We got recent posts right here, recent comments right here. And when you click the little down arrow, you can adjust some of the things on the widgets. Like this shows number of comments to show five. I can change that to be six, seven, eight, whatever I want it to be. I'm gonna leave it at five. Archives here, that'll show old posts on your site. Categories, if you categorize your blog posts, you can have that here on the front. And uh, meta, this is like login information, you'll never want this here. So let's go ahead and just remove this one. Okay, so now I've removed the meta uh, widget. Now if we click back here and go to subsidiary, we can see there's nothing in the footer and you can add widgets into your footer. Now, let me show you my website again and show you the widgets that I have. I, I, I just created a text widget here and put my own information in here. Here's another text widget, another text widget, and another text widget. So I didn't use any of the pre-made widgets. I just, I just used text widgets, which means I can put anything in there that I want. And then in my footer, I have categories here. I have recent posts here. And then I have a blog subscription widget here so that folks can subscribe to my blog. So I would recommend adding some widgets into your footer and seeing what that looks like. Just play around with it for a while. Go ahead and click the back arrow and then the back arrow one more time. And then the last thing we can see is, is we have a static front page here. If you want your website to run like a blog, you will leave this circle ticked, your latest posts. That means that your latest posts will all show up on your front page. So let me give you an example. WP Tavern is set up as a blog, so all their latest posts show up on their front page. So that's WP Tavern. Their front page is set to display their latest posts. Now on my website, I have mine set to display a static homepage. So when you go to my homepage, instead of seeing my latest posts, you see the same page every time. It's a static homepage. Now I still have a blog, and you can click blog to see that. And so this is my blog. So, like I say, you can set up your homepage to show your posts or to show a static page.
So you can make that choice for yourself. After we've made all these changes, I'm going to click Save and Publish, and then I'm going to click this X, and now here's what we have. So now you know how to install a theme and you know how to customize that theme. Thanks for watching today's video. I really hope you learned a lot. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress plugins. This is important for the smooth and safe running of your WordPress website. Also, plugins are one of the things that make WordPress so cool because plugins extend the functionality of your website in ways you could never imagine. Uh, I'm going to show you five or six essential plugins that I think everybody should have when they're first starting out with a WordPress website. So stay tuned.